Italo Vignoli, uh, founder of the LibreOffice project and uh, working uh, since that time, which means 2010, as marketing for LibreOffice. It's a funny story. Uh, I have a background in humanities. I've been doing marketing for technology for uh, now 42 years, since 81. Uh, but I ended up in, uh, in technology just by chance. I was hired by a technology company because I was a journalist. And they wanted, they were launching at the time, uh, it was the time of the IBM PC, they were launching a printer for the IBM PC. So they wanted some, someone that was completely ignorant of technology to explain to users about technology. And after six months, uh, it came out that I was the most competent about PC technology in the company, so I was promoted to just a poor PR guy to marketing director for Europe in one afternoon, which was uh, amazing, exciting and strange. So open source uh, uh, is almost everywhere today. Um, you cannot basically think of uh, software without having some open source components. Uh, of course, uh, uh, the situation was uh, dramatically different uh, 20 years ago, so open source has grown exponentially uh, because of its qualities. I mean, open source is not just better, it's a different and a lot better than proprietary software. So today, even proprietary software uh, is based on many open source libraries. So the impact of open source is uh, huge. Uh, it's huge on the server side. It's not as huge on the desktop size, because of course the desktop is still uh, a cash cow for some companies, and uh, they protect their cash cow in whatever mean they can, but I think uh, we are making uh, an impact or a, let's say we are starting to become at least an alternative on many desktops because people start to be fed up with the conditions, the, the license condition of proprietary software. So the people that is using LibreOffice or LibreOffice technology software um, on the desktop uh, is increasing, even if maybe they are not just using the LibreOffice, but they're using it in combination with another office suite. I think uh, it's an important step because they recognize that for some documents, they need a software like LibreOffice. We reach a lot of individual users. Of course, uh, our marketing power uh, is not as large as it is for companies that can invest millions of dollars for, for marketing. But um, if we see our mailing list, we see an increasing number of people that say, or my friend told me that I have to install LibreOffice or my cousin, because in every family, in every, let's say in every group, there is the uh, geeky guy that knows a little bit about everything and starts to, to, to suggest solutions. And uh, of course, no one today is willing to pay even $50 or 50 pounds a year to write a letter every now and then. So when, uh, uh, when they realize that they have to pay 50 pounds every year or 50 or whatever, uh, they probably use individual users starts to ask their friends, do you know something that allows me to do this? And uh, enterprises, uh, uh, on the other hand, realize that um, having a, an open source solution makes sense today because open source is, as I said before, is everywhere. They don't realize that open source uh, for enterprises cannot be as free as it is for users because uh, 
deployment uh, on an enterprise infrastructure is not the same thing as installing LibreOffice on a single desktop. And this is where we find uh, the biggest challenge today, is to explain to enterprises that they should invest a little bit, a tiny bit of what they are spending, not investing, but spending for proprietary software, they should invest a little bit of that on open source and enterprise should be educated.